a body can have a position of rest or motion and these are defined with respect to surroundings so if a body is changing its position with respect to surroundings and of course with respect to time if a body is changing its position then it is called it is said to be in motion and if it is not changing its position it is said to be in the state of rest where do you observe this body we will be seeing the bodies on the earth a person in a bus a vehicle a body in a vehicle all these things where you observe the body is actually called a frame of reference so frame of reference is a system with respect to which we are observing the body and trying to identify whether that body is in the state of rest or in the state of motion this frame of reference could be of two types it could be in the state of rest or it could be in the state of uniform motion means constant velocity that kind of a frame who is either in the state of rest or moving with a uniform velocity is called inertial frame of reference it could be not in a state of rest not having a uniform motion but having some acceleration that kind of a frame who is having acceleration is called non inertial frame let us initially start dealing with a body in a inertial frame that means the frame either in the state of rest or moving with a uniform velocity in that inertial frame if a body is not changing its position with respect to time and surroundings it is called it is said to be in the state of rest and if it is changing in the changing its position it is called motion of course this rest and motion are purely relative experience depending on what are you doing with respect to whom you are uh, seeing that body now if suppose a body is in the state of motion it will be changing its position from point a to point b it is changing its position now how much distance that it has traveled means suppose if it has started from the point a it has gone to the b like this the actual path followed by the body the actual path followed by the body is called distance and if i have drawn a shortest line between initial and final positions in a specified direction that is called displacement so the motion of a body is observed in terms of either distance traveled by the body which is independent of direction it is just an actual path followed by the body and displacement is the shortest possible distance traveled by a body in a specified time now it's very clear from the given diagram that distance could be greater than displacement in the above case what i have written distance could be also equal to displacement but there is no chance the distance is going to become less than that of the displacement the shortest possible distance itself is called as a displacement so if you have say for example if you have considered a scenario just like this you have started from a position you made a circular motion you came back to the same position of radius r if someone has asked you what is the distance traveled by the body by the body the actual path followed by the body is nothing but the circumference of the circle you know the circumference circumference of the circle is nothing but 2 pi r but if you want to know displacement in this case you have started from one position you came back to the same position so your displacement is nothing but equal to zero so distance is treated like a scalar where there is no worry about direction displacement is treated like a vector which is having a specified direction and satisfying the rules of the vectors 
the distance traveled by a body in a specified time is called as speed which is defined as rate of change of distance whereas the displacement covered by a body per second r rate of change of displacement is called as velocity again because distance and time are the scalars speed is also a scalar because displacement is a vector time is a scalar vector by scalar is nothing but a vector vector is a physical quantity who is having both magnitude and direction and satisfying the rules of the vectors whereas speed is a physical quantity who is having only magnitude no specific direction if a body is covering equal displacement in equal interval of the time then its velocity is said to be uniform velocity so what i mean by uniform velocity is its velocity is constant at all intervals of the time that means body has started from the state of rest in 1 second it has covered 2 meters so its velocity is 2 meter per second in total 2 seconds it has covered 4 meters total 4 meters again velocity is 4 by 2 2 meter per second in the total 3 seconds it has covered 6 meters right from the beginning again velocity is a 2 meter per second this kind of a velocity is called uniform velocity and if that is not the case then the body is said to be in a non uniform velocity if a body is in a non uniform velocity its velocity is changing with respect to time if that change is an increase with respect to time that is called something like acceleration so acceleration is nothing but rate of change of velocity or velocity by time where velocity is increasing with respect to time if suppose the velocity of the body is not increasing with the time rather it is decreasing with respect to time then that is called retardation that is also a acceleration but velocity is not increasing with respect to time here velocity is increasing here velocity is decreasing that's called retardation so when there is a change in velocity either in the format of an acceleration or a retardation velocity of a body changes and we need to find out a average velocity we can define simply average velocity as total displacement covered by a body in the total time in the further post we are going to discuss how to find out the average velocity thank you see you back